So we play, play with some flames So this was our quick little stop through on our way down to the Keys. It is called uh, Miami Everglades RV Resort. There's a lot of people here. Well, we have made it, you guys. We made it, we made it. Look at our spot. It is hot out here. It's sunny. I'm seeing the big geckos already. Or lizards. Oh my goodness. But they're cute, but I'm scared of them. But as long as they stay their distance, I'll stay my distance from them too. But here we are, right off the expressway. Gotta go check into the office. This place is big though. Look at it. Sunshine Key. It's an encore. Part of Thousand Trip. Yeah. So we checked in. Uh, we're all getting situated right here. 66 Pretty nice place. Okay, we're gonna go now and check out our site. We are in the key! Oh my gosh, so happy, so warm, beautiful, sunshine, and oh my, I'm locked out. Really? <laughs> anyway, oh, here we go. Fun, fun. Fun! Check them out. More to come on their paddle boards. More to come on their cool glasses. Glasses. Yep. Thank you for sponsoring this video. Yes. So we're going to keep taking you on all of our adventures. Hey, this is going to be a new year. So we're going to try stuff new. This is going to be our time to just do whatever we can new as couples together. Best friends camping together. That's what I like to call it because I am his best friend and you he's mean, mine yeah you mean I'm your we're, best, we're friend. best friends but how about that we're even
Yeah. 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 There's only one waterfall out there, and you just try to keep it together for that one. Oh, nice. I look tough, but really, I'm soft. I can't handle any fighting. <laughs> <laughs> he has a bad back, too. Okay. No, not really. Not bad. Oh, it's he, not. Didn't, you just oh, he didn't want me to tell it out loud. Sorry. <laughs> we are here on the water. So much fun. Look at town. We gotta get on. Yes. One, two, one, two, one, two. I've been took mine off. You, okay. Why you didn't take yours off? Okay. Because, Tommy, this is, oh. Tommy, you, you okay, but, but you gotta paddle. You, you gotta paddle us up out of here. my name about 40 times. <laughs> so those birds right there, they're called diver birds. And look at them, just a lot of them. So the, the sea star, that was in the tree? Yeah, he just uh, hanging out right on the tree. Mouth? Yep, right there. That's where the mouth is. And the way that they eat is when they find like a some sea squirts or something on the bottom that they're going to eat, their stomach will come entirely out of their body and it'll envelop said prey and digest it outside of the body. Yeah, there's a few drops coming down. Wow. And they slurp it back in. You can really see the little hairs right there all up along there, the little hair tentacles sticking out. So uh, similar to like, um, if you were to ever look really closely at a, um, a what? sea urchin, you'd see the same thing. All these little tentacles sticking out that uh, they move around all independently of each other. It's very, very hypnotizing. That's cool. Guys, it is beautiful out here. Can you believe we didn't paddle halfway around this little island? And the water is no more than three feet deep. And it's glassy looking. Look at that. I've seen a couple colorful fish already. Yeah, there you go, Santi. Good job. Good well, job. Why am I doing the work, though? Go ahead. Somebody got to record. <laughs> Somebody got to narrate this video. Guys, we all done. And... We are tired. We did over 3.6 miles. 
out there. We had a ball. We're about to go take our pictures real quick. Rick off car. So, yeah. you guys, that was fun. It was a good workout. It was $69 to do the excursion if you're wanting to know how much it costs. We give a shout out to Chris Castro. We'll put their number in the description box below because he was super kind. We went 3.22 miles in a kayak. So, uh, my arms are already sore but it was fun and it was beautiful so we're gonna continue this adventure with you guys thank you outdoor master for sending us an additional two more boards that we are going to be trying out here right at the keys we're gonna blow them up show them to you and tell us which ones you like as well you're gonna see us try them out for the very first time So what we're doing now is we are going to blow them up. Outdoor Master does have a, an electric pump. We ended up buying that instead of using the uh, manual pump that they give to you, but they give you all of the pieces that you're gonna need. As well, a amazing, nice looking bag that has two wheels at the bottom on one side. So it allows you to be able to carry it to and from. PSI? Uh, 15 PSI, I do believe. PSI. But they said, remember when we tried out the other one, it wasn't a, a firm enough. So you can go a little bit above that. But you also got to keep in mind that, so when you're blowing these up, you have to keep in mind that if it's hot out, it can uh, also increase the air that's already that we're getting ready to put up in there and you don't want it to uh, be over inflated because then it could possibly bust. So definitely look at the requirements for the PSI. It tells you right there on the board. And then we're gonna go ahead and set the pump to that PSI and then should be all blown up. And we are using our power bank to do this with. We are running, 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 running because we are enjoying every single minute while we're here at the Keys. Had to make me a hot dog, y'all, because your girl was hungry. So I'm pretty sure there's some really cool restaurants down in Key West that we're gonna run into. But until then, I have to put something in my stomach. So hopefully you guys are having fun and you guys are enjoying the adventure, kayaking, if you are a kayaker, please let us know what you do to condition yourself to get out there because we did 3.22 miles. It was a long, long um, trail that we did, but it was super nice. It was fun. It was scenic. Um, there has to be some type of stretching that you have to do to prepare yourself for that because I tell you what that was a great workout but we made it through something that I can check off and I might even want to continue to do it who knows but it was a lot of fun and I hope you enjoyed all of the scenic views as well we blew up all four of them you guys look at this right here that's the pink one that is known as the yoga board and then we have this one and then we have this one and Justice uh, son and Crystal son Jalen is out there with the other one and he is enjoying himself so we are about to get on these boards and we're gonna enjoy this beautiful weather here in the Keys. We're about to show you if we can stand up. That was the key. Last time I couldn't stand up because the board was not 100% blown up, but 
We're gonna try it out now, here. Stay with us, y'all. You forgot, Dana's a lightweight. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't no skateboard, Tammy. How's it feel, Shanti? See, I can sit and do that. I ain't standing up. I don't know, Tammy. You need about two or three more pounds. Of <laughs> oh, that's how you're supposed to do it? <laughs> Just like that, huh? You don't think you need a couple more pounds of air in there? <laughs> Circle, so you just need to go one side. I did one side, then the other. Well, keep, you got to put the paddle in the water. Go ahead. <laughs> We're stuck there. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. She got it almost. <laughs> no, it ain't. She ain't standing up yet. There you go. Yeah, now do something. <laughs> what do you say, Tommy? Do a trick now. <laughs> Hey, you going back? You trying to go back? You got to pedal forward. That way, yeah, that way. This is why I said it's white water rack all over again. Now go to the other side. Now go to the other side. So I stood up. Town tried, and he sat down but they are fun. They are serious, a lot of fun. Guys, there's two ways you can ride this board. You either can get on your knees or you can stand up and paddle. Right, a lot of people like to stand up and paddle. A lot of people like to get on their knees. There's no wrong way to do it. And a lot of people can sit down. They get you out on the water. And it's fun. Yep, it's, it's their blow up. Fun. This board is a hit. Yeah. That's a hit. And I like the different styles that they have. So you'll have to go on the website just to look at what type of style you're looking for. avoid having to park and find parking spaces for three trucks we're just gonna go ahead and take in two golf carts and we're gonna leave our trucks here at the Publix only a few minutes away so it was just one of our bright ideas to cut down on trying to find parking space or, or paying for stuff uh, for each truck if you have to go to a parking deck so about to live it up y'all live it up <laughs> Yeah. 
on the strip. We are in the Keys, having fun. We got the Jordans right there. What's going on? <laughs> and we are hanging out. We took the golf cart here and it's our golf cart. I do highly suggest that because, uh, yeah, you're not gonna, what y'all do? You're gonna have a rough time finding spots okay. if you have cars and everything, but, or trucks. But look at that, you guys. If you haven't already noticed, this place is crowded. So we're gonna get off and we're gonna walk it. And we're gonna have fun and we're gonna eat and we're gonna eat and we're gonna have fun. Talk and have fun again. ahead and take a look at this one bot you guys it was sent to us look at it it is a mean lean compact riding machine if you're looking for something that you can take to the campgrounds with you think about the one bot and the reason why is because a the seat can be taken off the handlebars can also be taken off and it collapses this bike weighs maybe around 15 pounds not bad also you have a LED screen right there and it's turned on by holding in the M and it's also turned off by holding on the M as well on this electric bike you have three speeds one and it goes all the way up to three and the miles per hour on it is 15 so not bad at all you can do a total of 30 miles all together and you also have a light right there for at night time so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna take this out and we're gonna see how fast it goes and let's take in some of the scenes here while we're riding the one bot you too you guys have a good one yep happy new year's to you too so here at the campground they have daily activities so I just picked up our activities for the month of January because we are going to be down here. So you can see what we're going to get into. Oh, they got a mobile massage. <laughs> you got me at mobile massage right there on the third. Yes, yes. And bingo. Yes, yes. And it's bingo for money too. This is our site looking this week. We got all our toys out. Paddle boards. Shout out to Outdoor Masters. Thanks for the paddle boards. They are coming in handy here in the Keys. We love these paddle boards. Love them. Of course, Frog.
So I have been riding this bike literally for a good 20 minutes and I'm still fully charged. So that is also a really good sign too. If you're needing to just go, you know, pick up mail or go from this campground to that campground, um, definitely consider something like this because it will definitely get you there quicker than your own two feet. But it still allows you to exercise if you want to. So you guys, this bike does have a kick to it. When you're on number three or level three, all you have to do is engage your handlebar. And as you see, oh, <laughs> it will take off and go. So definitely be careful about that. But if you're also just wanting something again, just to get around the campground, like I'm doing right now, check it out. Nice views, you guys, all right? And I have it on three. I'm gonna get prepared. And I just started it off right here. And we're gonna go. So there you have it. I went ahead and I was able to drive it on the campground. I even drove it over some rocks and a little bit of the sand and it did pretty good. Keep in mind though that this is a 240 watts bike. Uh, you can only go a total of 30 miles and that's there and back which I already explained to you but um, you you won't definitely be inconvenienced at all when you have this bike and you will be able to keep up with a lot of people it does have pedal assist and if you use the pedal assist it will last a little bit longer so you'll be able to go longer than just the 30 miles so you have your back reflector again this is by one bot and it is there electric bike for us all to ride and enjoy while well, camping I'm pretty sure you can use it for other things too though you know like if you had to have makes you know quick deliveries here and there um, again, I see these a lot in the city. When we were in Key West, downtown Key West, I saw a lot of people ride these around. So, not bad. Well, anyway, guys, anytime you go to a, to a campground that has like a beach, where they, of course the site's gonna be real tight. As you can see, we're snug up in here, but we're making it work. Scared of it. You scared, huh? She up here scared. She's gonna throw it into me. Wow. Thank you, buddy. Guys, look at the turquoise water. Beautiful out here. 